better than the... It's better, yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. I pushed the mid and bass a little bit. First experience we've ever had with recording a full-length record. Some bands, their whole album sounds the exact same, which is cool, and I like that. But ours is just really different, and I feel like it's because we wrote the songs at different periods of time. First one, then you open the second two. Like, oh yeah, yeah, I will. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you down? Obviously being a Canadian band, I didn't know what to expect going down to the States, whereas like a lot of the American bands, they get the kids coming out just because they know, oh, like Chicago band rolling through, New York band rolling through, you know, it's, I guess it's the cred that they have and maybe the cred that we don't have being from another country. I wasn't expecting much at all. I was expecting a few kids at each show that maybe knew us, maybe not. I don't remember how it came about, but they were like, oh, we're doing a tour, you want to do a tour? And I was like, yeah, I'll do the tour, man. I do the touring. I do it sometimes. And that is that I am not a lobster scientist. We're doing a bit, we're going east coast, west coast, south coast, like, I can't, we're like, can't. <laughs> we're like, dude. How do you feel about your set tonight? Oh. Sorry. Pretty busy. Picture in two, picture in one. No! Chikonyo! Baba Kichi Baba! Great! Several different, you know, they break it up, they break up the countries. And <laughs> one of the countries is called Canada. You guys made a first. status that was like, what song should we play on tour? And I just posted the theme song from Super Great Teenage Mutant. Yeah, you guys didn't respond. Fuck Seaway! Builder was grabbing a 60 of gin every night just for the bands. And that was awesome. I mean, I'm not big on gin, but it's tight.
Staten Island was fun. It was a good show. Um, probably at the time, I think it was the best show on the tour so far. Canada is just so vast compared to the States. The States is just so much more saturated with people. It's a lot easier to hit different markets. I would write a song, Patrick would write a song, and then we'd like come together, put lyrics or leads or whatever was missing together. You can't catch a break. This doesn't make sense. This time I'll never take. Really energetic. Yeah, very energetic. Yeah, yeah. really gets the blood flowing. <laughs> It was just like different, like I don't know, it caught my attention. Especially to Sabrina, the teenage bitch. When I came out with the music video, I was just like, what is this? Like, they're from Canada, like please come to the US. <laughs> please come to New York. I think uh, if I get into talking about Builder, that might be. I'm a, I'm a shithead degenerate idiot. And we all know that. <laughs> of my friend who was having a Thanksgiving Eve party. And at this party, everybody brought something, and like a billion people brought pies. Everybody thought it'd be hysterical if I put my dick in a pie. That whole line is pretty epic. You can't say I have nothing to say and end it there. Everyone, I have nothing to say all the time. except I hope you bring it up. It's probably like one of the only lines that people actually know. Yeah, yeah. properly. Take out another two hundo. <laughs> dude, dude, you I, I throw it down, I throw it down a run. 
I lose. <laughs> I, I go to the ATM. <laughs> I take out another two hundo. <laughs> Wow, I have more cars. <laughs> Don't hey, tell me I, 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 I am down. So back here, no. I am currently down five hundred dollars and a pair of glasses. <laughs> Stuck saying goodbye in Baltimore, but I mean, you know, that's how it goes, you know, until the next tour. Driving uh, from Baltimore to Virginia, and it was just like, hey, we're driving right through DC, why don't we go see the White House? Being there at four o'clock in the morning, opposed to like a weekend during the day when it's completely busy, is totally different. Some parking lot, and then to get to like the place to pay, you just like get on this little tube thing. And oh, oh, it's totally not gonna be as cool as <laughs> that's that. That's not what happens, bro. At the end of the day, you've been casted away. Way. Okay. Okay. Way. That's one, right? End of the day, you've been casted away. Yeah. End of the day, you've been casted away. If no one knew us in like Staten Island, it'd be okay because Bellwether lived around there and like we we're still with American bands. But after Baltimore, we were just alone. It was just us doing the rest of the dates. Leaving Knucklepuck and Bellwether mid-tour was kind of lame because we still had a lot of dates to go and... It sucked. It sucked a lot. Because like all the shows up to that point were amazing, we were all vibing so well, like good vibes all around. But I don't know. I was, I was stoked to go down to Florida and see what was going to happen. I just wish they could have come with us.
see. Why were we here all day? I don't know, because nobody wanted to wake up. Including yourself, right? Yeah. We don't wake up when we want to. We wake up when we do. Exactly. was another night we got hooked up we stayed in uh tap stand's house and that was crazy like those guys were all the nicest dudes everyone we met everywhere especially in florida were amazing like jared and jenny they both hooked us up with houses and i don't know they're all just amazing people one two three four five we're gonna go right down the line you're gonna keep your finger straight off the trigger you're gonna squeeze off around right into the dirt right there and then you're gonna pass the gun to your right hand side and once you do that we're gonna get the fuck out of here. Uh, <laughs> this is for Canada right here. It's meaner, it's funner, like, it's just, it's solid pop punk. Like, it's exactly what you would expect out of a pop punk band. We're slowing down. There's a sign down in a beach where we carved our initials. I X them out. For the overnight drives, it's perfect because we got driver, passenger in the front seat, which was Miguel, who always uh, made sure that we were staying awake. called Last Punk. Just fall in line and you will be happy Just do your joy, may say Fuck that! I can do better than that! You'll see! I can feel it coming on and on and on It was fun. It was fun to get out there and just really be out, out on our own. Just a bunch of kids from Canada trekking down to the southern states. and it was from like West Virginia to Ohio through that thunderstorm. That sucked, but it was fun.
17 day tour tonight and kind of tomorrow. So we're stuck to uh, end this one with all of you. Perfect. Uh, uh, the best fucking pop up there is. Was a Seaway sticker? Yeah. Yes, yeah, Seaway rules! <laughs> They're just really sick. Like they have a good sound. It's it's like it's more like it's more different than like the generic like things that you hear, but it's cool. It's like a pop punk band. It's very catchy and lively, and it's fun to jump around too.